Hey, what's up traders? This is Taylor Horton bringing you the free video here for Thursday, January 27th. So we'll get right to uh, right into the good stuff here. I'm looking to short this market. So from a monthly chart, basically down to um, a five minute chart, trend structure and momentum currently are pointing towards a path of least resistance being to the downside. So I want to short the market. The issue here is, you know, and it could work, but getting short down here, you know, minus two to minus three ATR, it's a lot like getting long at the same extension. So in a bearish market or a potentially bearish environment, you want to make sure you pick your spots wisely. So if you look at an inverse chart of the QQQ, which is basically your Q's upside down, this typically isn't where we're going to load the boat for a long position. Rather, we do that down here, we take profits on that push, and then on the pullback, you look to reload. So looking at the real deal here, the real QQQ, Trend, structure, momentum, they're all beat up here. They all point towards, there could be plenty more downside, but this is not the best short entry here at this extension. And I think the key with any trade in this market is, you know, before you go into the trade, there's a few things you want to figure out in advance. One of them is your targets. So for the cues here on any short that I take, my exit would be up here above the weekly 21. You know, to me, that's a pretty good shift of structure. At that point, I feel like uh, I'm wrong. At that point. Now my target to the downside here would be a break under those recent lows around 3.30. Ideally, I need a strong bounce here. That way we're working a good risk reward. So if you check out uh, the Analyze tab here, I'm currently pricing out uh, a March expiration call credit spread for the folks in the options room. The short strikes, uh, the expiration date, none of that actually matters right now. The major thing I want you to focus on is we've got our levels here, right? 3.75-ish exit. 330 target. Now, if I could get this spread here for about $4 of credit, the next thing you want to know before you jump into a trade is what's the risk reward between the two targets. So if we could get that exact spread for $4 of credit on a 10 contract basis, a move into 375 by next Friday, we're going to lose about $450. A move down into 330, we're going to net about $1,200, $1,250. So the point being here is if we could actually get that fill, that's a good trade. The risk at your line in the sand is really much smaller than the potential profit down here at 330. So that's going to be really big in this market. As, as the environment gets more volatile, as things change, the variables in our trading business can change as well. One of those variables is your win rate. My thinking is in a market like this, it's definitely possible that your win rate starts to decrease. So what you want to do as a trader is control one of your other variables, the major one being risk reward. The win rate might die down a little bit, but if you can really work those good risk reward numbers in your favor, definitely compensates. Now to get that spread for a good $4 of credit and work that risk reward, where I'm going to risk $40 per contract to make 120 per contract, we are going to need a pretty big bounce here. And ideally, I think we could probably work that trade on a bounce back up towards a 21 EMA. So that's pretty much a big question. Um, the indexes are oversold. Everyone's leaning short. Do we get the bounce we're looking for? Well, if you check out the volatility index here, typically with the VIX, we tend to make a pretty big move, usually through about two ATR to the upside. We hang out here for a little bit and then usually VIX dies right back down. Tends to be the case outside of something um, like the pandemic back in 2020. So typically, Volatility spikes, the index is pulled back, but then as volatility pulls back, the index is get a pretty big bounce. So for me to short the Qs next week um, at the price I'm looking for, the VIX is going to have to play a big role. Um, I don't really think it's going to be likely that we get that big bounce back to the falling 21 if the old volatility index here can't quickly throw in the towel. So the major points I'm trying to make here, my friends, you want to pick your spots wisely. If you look at an inverse chart of the S&P 500, and this isn't typically where you would load the boat on a long position. A lot of the same principles that help you in a bullish market are going to help you in a bearish market. So if you wouldn't load the boat on long positions up here at 2 to 3 ATR, probably means you shouldn't be shorting it down here at the same extensions. So you want to pick your spots wisely. And if you look at the trade that we did a few weeks ago from the IWM, you know we're shorting up here kind of near the sell zone, and then we're taking profits on the push. It's a totally different trade getting short up here versus getting short down there. So for the IWM, here's another spot I want to short, but I want to short it on a pretty strong bounce. 
if you look at the weekly chart here, you've got a nasty weekly squeeze. And in terms of support underneath it, I don't see anything all the way down to like 170. So yeah, there's plenty more room to drop here potentially, but to work a good risk reward between that target and the exit, we're going to need a pretty strong bounce. And I think, you know, in this current market, um, running the scans and looking for the pretty setups, there's a few out there. Um, there's CVS. I think Procter & Gamble's pretty interesting. Pepsi's, eh, Pepsi's kind of nasty now. There's Coca-Cola. You know, as the bigger picture environment starts to shift, a lot of the opportunity set that was there in 2020 and 2021, it's just not here in the same extent. So in my opinion, the easiest trades here are going to be trades on the indexes. And you got two plates of opportunity there. You know, if you're working with buy signals and you get some oversold readings, you could play the bounce back up to the falling moving average. My gripe with that, it's counter trend. It's actually counter everything. It's counter trend, counter structure, and counter momentum. So for me as a trader, I really like to focus on trades in the path of least resistance, which typically means in plain English, I like to trade the moves away from the 21 EMA, not the counter trend move back to it. So hope you all find this helpful. That's my game plan right now. I'm trying to short these indexes, but I'm trying to be patient so that I can put on the trade at the right time and structure these trades where if I'm wrong, Maybe I lose 2 to 3% of my account, but if I'm right and we come back down and take out the recent lows, we stand to make 10, 12, 15% on the account. So it definitely requires a lot of patience. Um, kind of sitting here, sitting on the hands this week, keeping them warm. But a lot of times as traders, the patience will pay off. So heading into tomorrow and heading into next week, keep a close eye on the VIX here, and then keep a close eye on your indexes. But the major thing you want to do here, long or short, Go into your trade, knowing your line in the sand, knowing where you're going to exit, knowing where your profit target is, and then try to structure a trade with the risk reward between those two levels is, ideally, I think, better than one to two, where you're risking a thousand to make two thousand, if not a little bit better. So interesting markets here, as always, bullish or bearish. I just want to play the ebbs and flows of this thing in the path of this resistance until something changes in a pretty big fashion. I think that's going to be to the downside. Got to pick the spots wisely, though. So hopefully you all find this helpful. If you haven't already, go on ahead and subscribe. Like the video. The algorithm likes when you do that. And that just helps us reach out to more traders. But until next time, trade safe this week. And for those of you that signed up for Saturday's class, we're going to be teaching you how to structure trades like this, where your risk is very, very small compared to your reward. Looking forward to seeing y'all there. Talk to you soon. What's up traders? This is Taylor from Simpler Trading. I wanted to thank you for watching our video. And if you liked the video, go on ahead and comment down below, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get a notification anytime we upload our next video. And of course, if you wanna watch us trade live in real time with our own money, check us out at simplertrading.com. Until then, trade safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.